Assalamualaikum and hi everyone. My name is Cik Gushaira from MRSM Typing. This is a video of an experiment to calculate the energy value in three different food samples. The food samples we will be using today are from the three different classes of food, which are number one, pasta, which is rich in carbohydrates, second, peanuts, which is rich in protein, and third, the fried crackers which is rich in lipid. The procedures of this experiment can be referred to our Form 4 textbook at page 156 and 157. Next is the procedure for this experiment. First, weigh the food sample using an electronic weighing scale and records its mass into the table. Number two, measure 20 ml of distilled water using a measuring cylinder and pour it into a boiling tube. Number three, clamp the boiling tube to the retort stand and put in the thermometer. 4. Fix the position of the thermometer using cotton wool. Number 5. Record the initial temperature of the distilled water. Number 6. Stick the foot sample on the needle and hold the needle upright using plasticine. Number 7. Place the barrier around the apparatus setup. Please remember to switch off the fan as well. Number 8. Light the food sample using a Bunsen burner and place it below the boiling tube. Number 9. Stir the water in the boiling tube slowly and record its highest temperature after the food sample has completely burned. Repeat steps 1 to 9 using the other food samples. Lastly, record your results in the table shown below. This is the formula to calculate the energy value of food. So the energy value of pasta equals to 20 gram of water times 4.2 joule per gram per Celsius times 13 degrees Celsius divided by 1.25 gram times 1000. We will get 0 0.87 kilojoule per gram. So this is the energy value for our pasta. By using the same formula, we can also calculate the energy value for our groundnuts and potato crackers. By using the data recorded in the table, simply fill in the formula and calculate it using our calculators. Now, we will proceed to the discussion of the experiment. Question number one. Which food sample shows the highest energy value? From the data obtained from the experiment, we have proven that the fried potato crackers has the highest energy value. Question number two. State two precautionary steps for this experiment. The first one is, we must ensure that the food samples is completely burned before reading the final temperature of the water. Second, we must make sure that the food sample is put as close as possible to the bottom of boiling tube during the burning. The conclusion of this experiment is, the hypothesis can be accepted. 
This is because the fried potato crackers has the highest increase in temperature per grams. Therefore, it has the highest energy value compared to all other food samples. This is because fried potato crackers has higher content of lipid and lipid molecules contain more energy per gram than other food classes.